Welcome back, everybody, to Anger Management, the man's podcast. I'm your host, Sasha. Um, again, <laughs> Aaron's not available for today, so it's going to be me again. I'm going solo. A lot of stuff has been going on in my life, so um, right now I, ha- I haven't been able to make, set up a lot of rooms so I could be able to do it at home. So um, right now, I have a little bit of time. I'm on lunch right now from work. So I'm just going to do this. I'm in my car right now. It feels good outside. I mean, this is. Uh, I mean, it feels good out here. I got an alert saying that's supposed to thunderstorm. Psh, it's Texas, it ain't going to thunderstorm. And if it does thunderstorm, it'll come down, and then by three o'clock, the sun will come out, and then you know everything will be fine. You know how it is here. You know I'm over here supporting the guy who I would vote for, Clayton Bigsby, and hey, if and if um and if Palpatine and Vader runs, I'm voting for them also. Those are the only guys that I would that I would that I would vote for. <laughs> um, but the today's today's little podcast. Oh, I'm holding I'm holding my phone. I this is gonna be my first time. I'm gonna do this. I have to do this right now because um. Tomorrow are the playoff games. We're going to, you know, the start of the uh, divisional round. So, I, I know tomorrow I'm not going to be able to do it. And it's kind of stupid for me to do this. Uh, so, I'm going to do this right now. I'm going to do, like, a little bit of a, um, more not more like a, a rant. And this is the way how I've always felt a little bit at times. Uh, when it comes to certain players. And sometimes I think that some people discount greatness. And they make it seem like players can be great. They do a pit. They, they, uh, they contradict themselves. And I think uh, a co- an analyst called them on it. Some people on this. And this is one thing that I've always noticed. Uh, and, th- and let me go ahead and let me back up real quick. So, I was watching, you know, I'm, all week we've been watching First Take and First Take. Uh, uh, for, well, I don't watch. I'm sorry. Back up. I don't watch First Take. Uh, I hate ESPN. I can't stand anything ESPN. ESPN to me is probably like the ass kissers of all ass kissers when, and, um, when it comes to sports. They'll sit there and they'll... Stroke LeBron James' balls. Stroke Tom Brady's balls. Stroke anybody. The Dallas Cowboys. I'm tired of hearing about the damn Dallas Cowboys. You know, I want to talk sports. I don't want to talk LeBron James, Tom Brady. There's more to sports than these guys. But yet, that's all you keep talking about. They just stroke their balls. Now, Undisputed is on that BS right now. And I'll watch a segment. And then after that, they keep talking about it going back and forth. I cut it off. I'll probably sit there and try and find something else. I'll, I start watching pro football talk with Mike Florio and, and Chris Sims. I, I, I like their, those two dynamic. And, you know, Peter King comes on there. I like their dynamic. To me, they seem like a bunch of guys that just sit there and talk sports. And they'll really just bull, they bullshit around. But I know I'm digressing. Everybody kept talking about Tom Brady. What's Tom Brady going to do? What's Tom Brady going to do? Blah, blah, blah. Let me back up and say this. Let that man, that man just not even five days ago, his, his team just lost a play, just lost the playoffs. So let's talk about other teams right now that are that are playing right now. Because the reason why I say that is because you're discounting those who are playing right now. Those guys that are playing right now, you're basically saying they're not important because Tom Brady's not in the playoffs. His, his team's not there. I'm not a fan of Kirk Cousins or any or anything Michigan State. But unfortunately, that man has some demons over there. He, a lot of people are saying that the man can't do it, and they talk a lot of crap on him. 
I don't like Michigan State quarterbacks. Anybody know the knows I don't like Michigan State quarterbacks. I feel that there are only three, three good players that came out of Michigan State. Unfortunately, Le'Veon Bell is not on that list at this time. Um, there's Andre Risen. Uh, there's Julian Peterson, and there's Platypus. Oh, I'm sorry, <laughs> Ron <laughs> Plaxico Burris. The re- the rest of the, the rest of the football players I don't believe in. I don't believe that anybody's great that that's good that came out. Kirk Cousins definitely ain't on that list. But unfor- but you know what? Uh, you know that that um that mis- that Minnesota team went into uh, New Orleans and they won. Got to give the man credit, right? But nobody talks about it. No, are too many talk about Tom Brady. Who's he going to go to San Diego? Who's he going to play? Oh, he's on Twitter. You know, sometimes I think that if he's on Twitter, I think that they say shit on Twitter and they just sit back and watch and wonder what these damn pundits are saying or think that he's saying. Tom Brady can probably say the grass is greener. I'm eating spinach and um, you'd be at Kaye MF. And everybody's saying, what does he mean by that? Well, I think that he's probably mad at Bill Belichick because of the way how he did. How do you know? You don't know. I don't give two shits. I want to see the results. As far as I'm concerned, I don't care. I don't care what the man does at this point. The man, you know, unfortunately, the man is sitting at home. That and you know what, he's got, uh, he's got probably one of the best views and watching football uh, on his couch. And because, unfortunately, his name is Tom Brady, he can go and he can probably get in and watch a watch a free game anywhere. Somebody's gonna let him in. Oh, Tom, you want to play? You can come and sit in our presidential suite. You know this as well as I do. I'm not, I don't care. But unfortunately, when I say that, they discount it because I'm tired of everybody saying, well, he needs to get help. If I recall, didn't this man win with less? This man has won with less weapons before, but now all of a sudden, because he doesn't have, he doesn't have those, those breakout players, everybody wants to do that. Same thing they do with LeBron James. LeBron James was known for making trash and turning them into treasure. But the moment they start, you know, they start losing or they don't have the big name players together. Oh, he needs help. Oh, he needs help. Oh, he needs help. But this man was winning without it. So now all of a sudden he needs it. Well, then you know something else? That's management uh, responsibility. And this is where I have a problem. I used to play football. I'm, uh, I, I used to play. And and I know me. And I wouldn't care who the player is. You can cut me or whatever after that. You go out there talking about making it seem like me and my teammates were trash around you. Then fuck you. Get me out of there then. Because we're out here. We are winning. We're not winning for you. We're winning as a team. We're not doing this for you. And, and if that's the way how it goes, well, fuck you, then get me out of here then. I wouldn't want to be around that stuff. And everybody said, well, it's LeBron, well, LeBron James or Tom Brady. Gives two shits who it is. I'm Sasha D. Robinson. I'm not playing this game for this person. And that's where I have my problem because they discount the players that are around these guys and make it seem like these guys just are are like nothing. So Nikhil Harry is a rookie and they're and they're giving them and they're giving them crap. But you know something? It'd be funny in a in a couple of years this kid breaks out and, be, and can be one of the top wide receivers in the league. Sonny Michelle's in the second year. No telling why he's not getting those handoffs like he did, like he did, and he he's not that dominant running back anymore. You don't know because there are certain games I saw him in there. He's looking pretty good. Rex Burkhead is always going to be Rex Burkhead. Um, Julian Edelman is on his last leg. Um, you don't go out and shore up and bring in some valuable, uh, valuable ones. 
Muhammad Sanu. We don't know the whole thing, but he isn't that guy who 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 everybody thought that he was going to be, and then everybody talks about other tight ends. Oh, but either or, you all are talking. You all are giving these guys a bunch of. Uh, uh, you know, like, you got to make it seem like these guys are just trash. They're professionals. They're in the NFL. But there's a lot of good, in, uh, there's going to be a lot of good playoff games this this week. My Niners? Yeah, I said mine. I don't never like to say this, but my Niners. They're playing Minnesota. That's going to be a good-ass matchup. That is going to be a good-ass game. I'm going to probably be mad. I'm going to probably be like how I was in that Seattle game, just stressed out, wondering what the hell is going on because I'm going to be at work tomorrow. You don't, we don't, you don't know that turnout could be different. Up in Green Bay and Seattle, Green Bay probably owes him, uh, owes Seattle for that uh, for that playoff loss, and I think in the fourteen of the 2014 playoffs. When they when they came back, to, oh Green Bay, uh, Green Bay owes oh, them badly. That can be one. That's going to be a good matchup. Houston and Kansas City. Kansas City may be looking to re, uh, be a rebound, uh, avenging a loss from Houston, who came back on them. They're probably going to find a way how to stop Carlos Hyde and Deshaun Watson. Oh, I mean that's going to be a good game. Um, and then you know also another good game. Uh, Tennessee and Baltimore. A lot of people are discounting Tennessee, but hell, what I, I what the way how I'm seeing this is Tennessee may Tennessee may go in there and shock the world. They may go in there and beat and beat the brakes off of Baltimore. I'm not saying beat the brakes, but they may go in there and handle t- uh, Baltimore. But the problem is that. We're too busy talking about oh it's Tom Brady and oh my, uh, Mike McCarthy is now the new t- uh, Cowboys coach oh um is Jack Prescott going to get a new going to get a new uh, contract when that shit happens let's talk about let's talk about what we do know and what we do know is that is that there's going to be some good playoff games coming up and you know what and and. I look for. I'm gonna look forward to watching it. I'm gonna look forward to, to um, you know, um, whenever I get a chance, and it, whether the 49ers win or lose, I'm gonna write a, uh, an article about it. Um, I do write for the 49er Web Zone. Yes, please, if you get a chance, please follow us. The, uh, go to the 49erswebzone.com. We have lots of articles on there. We they they do talk, and I'm an, and I'm a, um an, an, a, a writer for for there. So please get a chance. Right um. Pay attention there, but I'm going to write uh, write one regardless of if the 49ers win or lose. I'm going to write one for the week. This is going to be some exciting football coming up, and and I do at I do I don't want to talk about possibilities and hypotheticals and what people think and how people feel and oh this is Tom Brady oh my God. <clears throat> Oh, we're going to do this, and oh, what are we going to do? Is he going to come back and sign a sign a big free agent deal? Who gives? I don't give a shit. I generally, I really don't. Only thing I care about at this point is: Are the 49ers going to get past Minnesota? Will they be one step closer to going to the Super Bowl, playing either Green Bay and Seattle? Because either one of those games, that's going to be a get back game. That's what I'd like to know. But unfortunately, uh, the sports world wants to know what's going on with Thomas Brady. Give a fuck. Look, this is going to be a, this is going to be a quick show because it's lunchtime. I'm going to go try and find something uh, something to eat. You know, um, cheer, cheer me on. I know that me, uh, me and Aaron were also. Aaron, I know that last time I talked to him, he said he was trying to he's getting in the gym. He's in shape talking. I'm doing the same thing as well. Uh, I'm getting in the sh- uh, I'm getting in shape. I'm losing um since I'm freeing up a lot of time. I'm not working out my second job. I can be able to go to the gym. So I can start getting in shape. I can stop being uh, being in, uh, getting fat shamed for my brother. <laughs> Boy, they find ways of of trying to clown me all the time. I'm not fat. It's just. I'm just, I don't know why why they, why they call me that, but I got to lose weight. Um, 
I do want to say I do want to welcome any subscriber that comes to Anger Management. Hey, uh, hit uh, you know, hey, share us. We uh, the more we get around, I know that there are a lot of people that talk sports, and normally because this is a one man show, I can't really be who I am at this time because hey, I want to be angry, but and Aaron is that calm is that calm quiet storm, but yo, know, but either or, I do um I want to thank you again. When you um and um th uh, be thankful for who you are and what you have, because um if because you never know where you where else you could be.